Alright, so I wanted to make a quick video about something I've been uh, paying attention to lately and a lot of people missed it because everything you saw on the news while this was going on was about Anthony Weiner and his Twitter pictures. Well, I found this on The Blaze, a uh, story by Michael Pelka. Um, it's titled, Does the New White House Rural Council Equal the UN's Agenda 21? Which if you don't, if you're not familiar with Agenda 21, I'll leave a link down below in the description box so you can check that out a little bit. Uh, most of you are probably familiar with that. But while everyone was distracted by Anthony Weiner and his pictures on Twitter, Barack Obama signed into effect Executive Order 13575. And if you're not familiar, I, let, me, let me just go over um, some of the key points of Mike's article. Um, on June 9th, Obama signed his 86th Executive Order. And basically... <laughs> Nobody noticed this happened. Now, an executive order is um, their official documents through which the president manages the operations of the federal government. So, with EO 13575, it's designed to begin taking control over almost all aspects of the lives of 16% of the American people. Section 1 states, 16% of the American population lives in rural counties. Strong, sustainable rural communities are essential to winning the future and ensuring American competitiveness in the years ahead. These communities supply our food, fiber, and energy and safeguard our natural resources and are essential in the development of science and innovation. Through rural communities, though rural communities face numerous changes, they also present enormous economic potential. The federal government has an important role to play in order to expand access to the capital necessary for growth to promote innovation and improve access to health care and education and expand outdoor recreational activities on public lands. So that's section one of EO 13575. Now warning bells should have been sounding all across rural America when the phrase sustainable rural communities came up, which is exactly um, what the talk was for the UN's plan for sustainable development, Agenda 21. The uh, true fundamental transformation of America. The, the third sentence makes it quite clear that the government intends to take greater control over food, fiber, and energy. The last sentence in section one further clarifies the intent of the order by tying together access to the capital necessary for economic growth, health care, and education. Now, the new White House Rural Council will probably be populated by experts in the various fields that might prove helpful to the folks who live and work outside large urban areas, right? Well, let me read you a few of the names on this list that I'm sure you're uh, I'm sure you're familiar with these names, and listen to the amount of departments that are part of this this council. So, the heads of the following groups have been appointed. The first one, Department of the Treasury, Timothy Geithner. Does that name ring a bell? <laughs> How about the Department of Defense, Robert Gates? The Department of Justice, Eric Holder. The Department of the Interior, Ken Salazar. <laughs> now you've got the Department of Commerce, the Department of Labor, the Department of Health and Human Services, the Department of Housing and Urban Development, the Department of Transportation, the Department of Energy, the Department of Education, the Department of Veterans Affairs, Department of Homeland Security, the Environmental Protection Agency, the Federal Communications Commission, the FCC, the Office of Management and Budget, the Office of Science and Technology, the Office of National Drug Control. The Office of National Drug Control is part of this. The Council of Economic Advisors, the Domestic Policy Council, the National Economic Council, the Small Business Administration, the Council on Environmental Quality, the White House Office of Public Engagement and Intergovernment Affairs, and the White House Office of Cabinet Affairs. Okay? Now, you've got 25 different departments of the government, including the Department of Defense. Okay? Why does the Department of Defense, along with the Department of Homeland Security, and even the FCC, this is just an executive order to, to help uh, maintain and supply food, fiber, and energy through 16% of the American people, why is the Department of Defense and, and uh, Homeland Security, why are they involved in something like this? It, it appears that not a single department in the federal government was excluded from the new White House Rural Council. 
and the wild card option in number 25, which says the White House Office of Cabinet Affairs and such other executive branch departments, agencies, and offices as the President or Secretary of Agriculture may, from time to time, designate. Okay? Basically leaving it wide open that the White House says, at any time, we can put anyone we want on this council as well. <laughs> now, within the 25 designated members of the council are some curious ties to Agenda 21 and the structure being built to implement it. Valerie Jarrett from the White House Office of Public Engagement and Intergovernmental Affairs served on the board of something called Local Initiative Support Corporation, or LISC. LISC uses the language of Agenda 21 and ICLEI as their webpage details um, for their work to build sustainable communities. Now, Melody Barnes, the head of the Domestic Policy Council, former vice president at George Soros uh, funded Center for American Progress. Hilda Solis from the Labor Department. Uh, Nancy Sutley, the head of the White House Council on Environmental Quality, served on the board of the Los Angeles Metropolitan Water District and was one of the biggest supporters of low-flow toilets that are now credited with costing more money than expected while causing some nasty problems. So, is it possible that concerns about 135.75 are just typical anti-government paranoia? Okay, let's review the mission and function of WHRC. Section 4 says, Mission and function of the council. The council shall work across executive departments, agencies, and offices to coordinate development of policy recommendations to promote economic prosperity and quality of life in rural America and shall coordinate my administration's engagement with rural communities. Economic prosperity and a better quality of life. It all sounds fairly innocent and well-intentioned. But continue, continuing deeper into the order, we find the council is charged with four directives. A. Make re recommendations to the president through the director of the Domestic Policy Council and the director of the National Economic Council on streamlining and leveraging federal investments in rural areas where appropriate to increase the impact of federal dollars and create economic opportunities to improve the quality of life in rural America. Now the vague language here sounds non-threatening. But is there a hint that a rural stimulus plan might be in the making? Will the federal government start pumping money into farmlands under the guise of creating economic opportunities to improve the quality of life in rural America? It's difficult to figure it out. The language is so broad. Now, continuing the functions of the, WR, the WHRC, to, um, Part B, to coordinate and increase the effectiveness of federal engagement with rural stakeholders, including agricultural organizations, small businesses, education and training institutions, healthcare providers, telecommunications service providers, research and land grant institutions, law enforcement, state, local, and tribal governments, and non-governmental organizations regarding the needs of rural America. Virtually every aspect of rural life seems to now be part of the government's mission, and while all the items in Part B sound like typical government speak, you should be alarmed when you read the words non-governmental organizations, NGOs, NGOs are unelected, but typically government-funded groups that act like embedded community organizers, and the NGOs are the key to Agenda 21's plans. Now, Part C, coordinate federal efforts directed toward the growth and development of geographic regions that encompass both urban and rural areas. This one sounds very similar to the language found in the United Nations Plan for Sustainable Cities, known as Agenda 21. Managing the population in both rural and urban areas with a focus on controlling open spaces. <laughs> now, Part D, to identify and facilitate rural economic opportunities associated with energy development, outdoor recreation, and other conservation-related activities. The function of Executive Order 13575 uh, ties energy development with outdoor recreation and, quote-unquote, other conservation-related activities. When did outdoor recreation become a conservation-related activity? Now, aside from the content of this order and some of its very vague intentions, the timing of signing should also be considered. Later this month, Washington, D.C. is hosting a meeting of the Agenda 21 operatives who are members of the ICLEI. Washington, D.C., ICLEI, Local Governments for Sustainability, USA, and the U.S. Green Building Council, uh, Council USGBC, announced the launch of the National Press Club Leadership Speaker Series to be held on June 28th, just a couple days ago. 
The event's inaugural keynote speaker, the Honorable Sha Zhu Kang, the Secretary General of the UN Conference on Sustainable Development. The keynote address, The Road to Rio, will explain the role of key global and national stakeholders in the impact and vision of this historic conference. Now, the United Nations has pushed their sustainable development program for almost 20 years. The UN social justice blueprint, called Agenda 21, requires governments control almost all asp aspects of an individual's life, but has recently met with sub substantial resistance in America. Um, since The Blaze covered this topic and the story appeared on Glenn Beck, we've been inundated with reports around the country about efforts to remove ICLEI and Agenda 21 from local governments. Um, let's see, several, several uh, people have... Uh, Carroll County, Maryland, in February 2011, all five newly elected county commissioners led by Richard Rothschild voted to become the first county in the nation to end the ICLEI contact, uh, contract. In Amador County, California, the Motherlode Tea Party led successful effort to remove ICLEI from a uh, Amador County. Montgomery County, Pens County, Pennsylvania, activists Ruth Miller and Maggie Roden have raised awareness that led to the removal of ICLEI. Edmond, Oklahoma, Molly Jenkins motivated 200 people to attend the city council meeting and demand action against ICLEI. Uh, New Mexico continues to debate the issue, but rational voices are gaining momentum in the community. Spartanburg, South Carolina. City Councilman Roger Nutt successfully directed the effort against the program, and Spartanburg became the sixth community to kick out ICLEI in a vote of 6-0 to zero by City Council, with one abstention. There's rallies held all over the place to get rid of this, and it's, it's no different than Agenda 21. They're basically moving in, taking over every aspect of everything they can with this broad language that leaves it wide open to put whatever they want in there, to have it run by whomever they see fit. And he did it all while the whole nation is distracted, doing nothing but paying attention to, to what some idiot posts on his, some pictures he puts on his Twitter account. People, you gotta, you gotta pay attention. Do your research, take a look, go to Google, type in Agenda 21, type in Executive Order 13575, and look at this for yourself. If you're one of the 16% of Americans that lives in rural America, or if you're just an American, period, you've got to take a look at this and do whatever you can. Talk to your, your local officials and, and get this out of here. This is just more ridiculousness by the Obama administration and every single branch of the U.S. government, including Homeland Security, the Department of Defense. It's just more of the same and we've got to get rid of this. Um, comment below. Let me know what you think about this. If you paid any attention to this, um, if you know anything about it, let me know your opinion. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Maybe there's a positive side to this, but right now, I don't like it one bit. And uh, I'd be interested to hear what you have to say. So post a response below, uh, create a video response, but most of all, take a look, again, at Agenda 21 and at um, Executive Order 13575, and at least read it a little bit and see what you think. Form your own opinion. Um, that's it, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, we'll talk to you later.